Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Google Nexus 7 tablet running Android 4.2.2, but it's now possible to run Ubuntu Linux uh, with a new touch-friendly user interface, and there's a system for doing that that involves downloading uh, some files on a computer, running Ubuntu, the whole process takes a pretty long time, so I wanted to see if there's a shortcut and a way that you could do this using a Windows computer, and there is. Uh, first, you need to uh, have a device that's been rooted, unlocked, custom recovery installed, access to fast boot. Um, that's all sort of stuff for a different tutorial, but it might not be that hard to do if you're thinking of installing Ubuntu on this tablet. If you've ever installed a custom ROM, then that's the sort of thing that we're talking about here. And then what you want to do is download a couple of files here. Um, on the Nexus 7, all your files are going to be called Grouper. If you have a different device, and this works with Nexus 10, Nexus 4, Galaxy Nexus. Uh, it wouldn't be called Grouper, it would be called something else. But in this case, we've got a 54 megabyte file called Grouper Zip. Uh, copy that to the storage here. 481 megabyte file called uh, Fablet Arm hf.zip, also copied to the tablet. And then we also want to grab the boot image, which is a 4.9 megabyte file. Um, and that we didn't copy to the tablet, that we actually just have on the PC. And from there, we're going to go ahead and turn this off. If I can remember how to do that. Power off. And then we're going to reboot into the bootloader and, and uh, fast boot mode. And to do that, we're going to wait for it to shut down, and then we're going to press and hold the volume button and the power button at the same time. And if this goes according to plan, which it may not, We should get into fast boot mode, but that's not happening, so let's go ahead and shut it down again. Okay, hold the volume down button, power button, there we go. And from here you can see it says fast boot mode. Now we're going to bring up a terminal menu, and on our computer, you want to make sure that you're connected properly. Type fast boot devices, and it should show you the device we're looking at. And just to make sure that you've got your image file, it's a good idea to do directory and see that you've got a file called Quantal Preinstall Boot RML Grouper Image. And now, fast boot, flash boot, boot, well, sorry, uh, Quantal Preinstalled Boot, and tab to finish it. So it's fast boot, flash boot, and that boot is the partition, Quantal Preinstalled Boot RML Grouper Image. Enter, sending, writing, OK. Now the next thing we're going to do is on the device we're going to use the volume buttons until we get to uh, recovery mode and hit the power button to enter recovery mode. Now Canonical, the makers of Ubuntu, also have their own custom recovery which you can install on the tablet. We're skipping that step because we want to use our own existing recovery application which will hopefully let us install the rest of the software. In this case I have Team Win Recovery Project or Twerp. should also work with Clockwork Mod. And now we're going to say install and we're going to scroll down until we find those Quantal things that we talked about. Let's go ahead and move this since we're done with the computer so we can actually see what we're doing. So, Quantal Preinstalled Armor, Armel Grouper, and Fablet Armor HF. So let's do first one. Now this is going to wipe everything on your device, so you're going to want to make sure that you have a backup first. Um, hopefully since we've got the custom recovery installed here, we'll be able to use it to restore from a previous backup. Um, but there's no guarantee that it's going to be stuck on the SD card, so you'll want to copy that backup to your computer. Okay, now we're going to install the second one. Alright, we're back and it uh, went ahead and installed everything, so now for the moment of truth we're going to go ahead and reboot the system and see if it boots and if it boots into Ubuntu.
Now this part of the process can take a while, so let's go ahead and put you down for a second. Grab a stand. And it looks like we're in Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and unplug you and see if we can look around. Okay, so far, there we go. We've got a gesture there. I'm not quite sure how to get to the app menu. I feel like this is supposed to be able to move. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can launch an application. There we go. So that's not too bad. Now, as expected, we've got portrait orientation here and that's all. Let's see if I can connect to an internet network. Looks like we have a lot of notifications here, which all seem to be sort of sample notifications based on the, the disk image that came pre-installed. A little bit of a hard time here telling if we are connected to the internet or not. Looks like we might not be. Let's try this again. And meanwhile, let's see if there are... Um, Options for music, movies, other things. Nothing's happening when I click these icons. There's a phone dialer, which probably won't do much since we're not using a phone. Okay, well, we've got a game which does run in portrait mode, but it seems like some of the icons aren't actually fitting on the screen properly. Switch to media player. Not much to see here. And with a couple of apps running, you can see things are starting to slow down a little bit. What about pictures? It's the share menu that keeps popping up down there in the bottom. You can see our battery charge remaining. And I still can't really tell if I'm connected to the internet. I just tap that device, flight mode, messages, networks. And I do get a pretty good Wi-Fi signal when running Android on this device, so... Anyways, um, I will spend some more time exploring this when uh, I have a chance to actually see how it performs and if I can get connected to the internet. In the meantime, let's try... Let's screen off. Let's try shutting down. Did that shut down entirely? I think so. And then let's see if we can get back into... 
custom recovery. And from here, let's go to recovery mode. And if this works, then we should be able to restore Android. And it works. So it looks like you should be able to go ahead and uh, create a backup of your Android device, restore from your Android device using Twerp, Clockwork Mod, anything else, if you just follow these steps instead of the official steps that are provided by um, Canonical. Um, so there you go. A quick look at how to install Ubuntu 12.10 Touch on the Nexus 7 tablet and a uh, very brief look at the performance because we weren't able to get internet working, but uh, hopefully that's my fault and uh, nothing to do with the software itself. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.